So I'm sure many of you out there are currently going through this stressful moment, uh, anxiety, panic attack, depression, and etc. And believe me, I've gone through that several times myself as well. Uh, and it seems these uh, events seem to increase and more and more as time goes by. So my family members and my friends advise that I should potentially see uh, a professional help and so on. So I was doing some research online and I also look into YouTube and so on. So there, I'm sure there are a lot of good resource out there, but what if I tell you there's a very interesting device that could help you overcome uh, this dark moment where this thing called Sleepy Soul Plus that I have with you. So basically I reviewed a, a very interesting product called Sleep Eye Mask a while ago because my mother-in-law was struggling at the time uh, to go to sleep. So I really wanted to help her. That's why I crowdfunded and managed to get sleep eye mask and send it over to her. So uh, in few months time, she have overcome it, but also she have seen some professional help indeed. So I believe sleep eye mask have contributed that, but that sleep eye mask was dedicated only uh, to help you to go to sleep. That was mainly what it's for, but this is the upgraded version. The same company produ produced a sleep, uh, Sleepy Soul Plus. So it's not only help you to go to sleep, there's another mode that um, help you to overcome distress and also help you to focus. And lastly, also help you to relax as well. So the way how this technology works is an FDA approved uh, technology, by the way. So this is a completely harmless process of, of simulating brain waves with a tiny current of electricity, okay? So the majority of CES products on the market right now are either not available for personal use or relies on clipping cables onto your uh, earlobes to properly function. However, this uh, Sleepy Soul Plus is the fully uh, first fully wireless wearable CS device on the market as the Sleepy Soul Plus band has two small electrodes that rest comfortably on the temple of the bone and can be conveniently worn at any time at uh, any place. So that's what this device is about. So I'm really excited to share this with you. And obviously I'm being a guinea pig here once again to share with you whether it works or not. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing and try it out. So here it goes. Tear out, tear this sticker out and voila. So we got the QR code and the actual device itself. It comes with the USB-C cable, as usual, and a very interesting um, charging dock, I believe. So this is a very light device, okay? And um, you can see that the charging is gone through here. Uh, so I presume all the batteries here, all the main functioning and brain is in this part. It almost looks like the Google Glass, doesn't it? So it's very nice design. This is the power on and off button. And those are the two uh, sensors that will send a wave, uh, tiny electricity to your brain to help you overcome your problems and etc. You can see the USB-C here plug. So you plug it in there and then you can see one clip going in this way and the other clip is for that bit. So I guess uh, you just basically place it here and that's charging and it's all good to go. So you can get the actual app from the Google Play Store by following the uh, QR code or the Apple App Store for Apple devices, uh, different QR code, okay? So once you download it, that's how the app will look like. And it says you should charge as shown on the picture like this. So this is a quick guideline, by the way. So if you turn on the device uh, by pressing this button here for one or two seconds, then you will see a different uh, light flashing, okay? And the next one is that uh, you put the device on your forehead like slightly angled this way. And then you, uh, every single time you try it on is for 30 minutes for the Sleepy Soul Plus to function, okay? And you're recommended to use this uh, 30 minutes uh, twice a day. Now, if we were to press the button for a few seconds, here you go. So the light has been flashing in blue. So let's just put this down and it's been told 
to um, press the Bluetooth button here. Right, it's all connected and it says that device is ready to use. Please wear the device that is, in, is instructed on the manual, so completion. So if you look at the actual app itself, it's a very minimalistic, simple use. Uh, once it's connected, you can also see the strength. You could adjust the strength of it. Currently it's in one. If you want to increase it, just press plus. So you can see it could go up to five. Uh, you can also uh, decide what sort of time length you want to do. You could do up to 60 minutes and it's a sleep mode, stress mode, calm down mode and concentration mode. It actually says that it doesn't ma really matter whether it's left is right and right is left, but if you're actually wearing makeup or anything, um, please do, and also hair as well. If it's blocking in on its way, please make sure you clear that. So because I had a rather stressful, uh, heavy workload day and I want to deal with my stress, I'm going to go for the stress mode of 30 minutes and probably I will adjust that and let you guys know. So let's try that out. Okay, so the moment of truth. I've been told to make sure uh, you don't break it, so do it, slide it in like that. I actually do have a rather wide head, so I could actually feel the actual joint is slightly bendy, um, and it's mainly due to the size of my head. So I think that's well positioned. And what I'm gonna do is, um, again, on stress, and let's press it now. Okay, I can hear the beep, 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 three beat sounds. And it's already on countdown. So technically, I can't really feel anything on my head. And I guess it's mainly, it's because it's on the level one. So let me just try to readjust that. Oh, so I can't really um, readjust that while I'm actually on the session. So what I'll do is let's pause it press yes so you can hear the beep sounds is resetting itself so let's try level five for the test purpose um, and then press uh, stress in 30 minutes here it goes beep 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 so um, yeah that's a nice screen isn't it but unfortunately I cannot sense uh, any sort of uh, sensation, any electricity or any of those sort of thing going through my forehead and I guess it's only the faith I have to trust that is actually working on me. So what I'm going to do is basically, because it takes about 30 minutes, I can't go on mumbling mumbling for 30 minutes. So um, I'll let this roll on. Uh, have a bit of a rest for about 30 minutes and come back to you guys. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so that was um, half an hour session over. So to be honest with you, sensation wise, you don't really get the feel. Um, maybe on the right hand side, I had a slight tingling sensation, but that could be anything. Uh, but overall, I think you're not supposed to feel anything. Uh, if it does, maybe that's a bit of an alarming thing. Um, so um to be honest with you aftermath is that i do kind of feel a bit more uh the word vague i think seems to imply in this case i feel slightly more calmer a bit more like uh okay what's going on kind of feel so maybe there has been taking some effect has been taking place but overall it actually made me think during this half hour session that am I supposed to sit down calmly like uh, in a yoga position or am I supposed to just sit comfortably? Can I actually still work on my computer or can I actually wear this uh, and run through the session while I'm actually coming to work and so on. So that's something I need to figure out first of all, but I think by the looks of it, it you're supposed to uh, sit down calmly and do nothing because if you think about it, while this uh, session is on and you're actually still working on your computer, um, I mean, computer itself is a source of stress. You're in a position trying to eliminate, eliminate the stress or concentrate or sleep and etc. Why do you want to do something else at the same time? So logically, it does explain you have to calm yourself down. So then my logic started to think, 
hmm, I never allow myself to sit down calmly for half an hour either in the morning or the evening. So this session requires for twice a day. So if I do actually put myself into the habit without the device, doesn't that help me to overcome the stress um, and uh, anxiety and so on? But um, I think there's both effect happening here that I need to practice in the long term to let you guys know uh, whether there's a Im the improvement or not i think that's the one of the most important thing on this whole exercise here but i have to say it's a really nice device very slim clever and i wouldn't want mind wearing it um, while i commute i'm sure a lot of people are going to look at me like a geek gadget geek but then again that needs to be clarified by the producer of this uh, sleepy soul plus but again um, yes, I could feel this bit more calm moment, uh, slightly distracted. Maybe it's just my personal um, input on this, but I was very stressed today. Maybe my brain is trying to tell me that forget about all those things that really stressed you or something like that. So it, again, it's a long term exercise that I have to try out. Um, either half an hour or up to an hour session before I go to sleep or when I'm stressed or whether I need to calm myself down during the anxiety time or concentration prior to work, something like that, and then uh, give you guys an update in a few months time. I think that's the most uh, you know, effective way, most clear way to explain to you how this device works. So I hope you uh, sort of understood and uh, this video gave you a good impression on how Sleepy Soul Plus works. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And overall, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LGBT Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.